The Braingarten die Tikon railway line is a railway line in Switzerland. It connects Wollen and Braingarten in the canton of Aargau with die Tikon in the canton of Zurich. Passenger service on the line now forms part of the Zurich S-Bahn, branded as the S-17, and a frequent service is provided, with trains running up to every 15 minutes. The line was opened in stages, and under different ownership, between 1876 and 1912. Whilst the earliest section to be opened, between Wollen and Braingarten, was built as a traditional standard gauge branch line, the later section between Braingarten and Diatikon was built as rural electric tramway and meter gauge. Whilst much of the line has been upgraded, this is still apparent in the long stretches of roadside track, and stretches of street running in Diatikon. Today the line is owned and operated by Agau Verkir AG, a company that operates other rail and bus services in the region. The route between Wollen and Braingarten West was built to standard gauge by the Orgeisha Sudbahn Railway, which connected Arau and Rockroys via Wollen. The service began on September 1, 1876, operated by steam locomotives. On January 1, 1902 Swiss Federal Railways took over the Orgeisha Sudbahn. The SBB continued to operate the service as a steam-operated standard gauge branch line. Opening of the Braingarten via Tikon line the line to Wollen had several disadvantages for Braingarten. The timetable was poor, Braingarten West Station was too far away from the town center, and the connection to Zurich initially proceeded in the wrong direction and was very indirect. In 1895 a plan was produced for a roadside electric tramway between Braingarten and Diatikon. As Diatikon already had a direct rail link to Zurich, this provided a much more direct connection. Construction began in 1901 and the route was opened on April 30, 1902. The new line crossed the Mutschellen Pass between its two terminal points, was owned by the Braingarten die Tikon Bahn Company, and built to meter gauge. The line's headquarters and terminus were at Braingarten Station, close to the town center. Besides the connection to the main line railway at die Tikon, the line shared track in die Tikon with the Limital Strassenbahn, which provided a link to the Zurich City tram system. The terminus in Wollen after connection of the two lines despite the construction of the new line, there was still a gap of about a kilometer between Braingarten and Braingarten West where passengers had to make their own way. The BD entered into negotiations with the SBB, and in 1910, a permanent lease for the Wollen Braingarten railway line was obtained. The standard gauge line from Wollen to Braingarten West was converted to dual gauge, thus permitting standard gauge freight to continue to access Braingarten West, and was electrified. A new terminus was constructed opposite the main line station in Wollen. In Braingarten, a new stretch of meter gauge line was constructed to connect the two stations, including an imposing railway bridge across the River Rus. Through running between Wollen and Diatikon began on February 8, 1912. One of the Bait 8's units on street track in Diatikon after 1950 the line was modernized to suburban railway standards using new rolling stock and facilities. In 1969, the line took delivery of nine new articulated Bait 8's units, which were to be the mainstay of the line for the next 40 years. The opening of the Rapid Transit Zurich S-Bahn network on May 27, 1990 caused major development. The route and timetable were integrated into the Rapid Transit Railway network, and three new stops with interchange facilities with other public transport modes were added. In 1993, the line's rolling stock was augmented by five new b 4 eighths low floor units. In 1995, a double-track section was built between Rudolf-Stettenhofacker and Birikon Wieden, which was extended two years later to the Belvedere stop. In 2000, the BD company merged with the Wollenmeisterschwanden Bond Company to form BDWM Transport. Despite its name and by the time of the merger, the WM company was a bus operator, and BDWM Transport operated a number of bus services in addition to the Braingarten Dietik Online. In 2010, the BDWM took delivery of the first of 14 new Abe 4 eighths articulated low-floor units, intended to replace all the previous units. The 40-year-old Bait eighths units were, with the exception of the preservation of a single unit, scrapped. The 17-year-old B4 eighths units were sold to the Winental and Shurental Railway. The last standard gauge freight train operated to Brain Garden in 2009, although occasional standard gauge passenger trains aimed at the rail enthusiast market have run since. When track renewal was due in 2015, the decision was made to relay the line as meter gauge only. The end of the standard gauge was marked with special trains on June 26 to 28, and in July service between Braingarten West and Wollen was suspended for a number of days for the removal of the standard gauge track and renewal of the meter gauge track. 
In June 2018, BDWM Transport merged with the Winendel and Schurendel Railway to form Agau Verkir AG, the company which now owns and operates the Braingarten die Tick Online. Map of the line The line begins in Wollen at a platform opposite the SBB Wollen station at an altitude of 426 meters. The line climbs to an altitude of 451 meters and passes into the Braingarterwald. The Erdmann-Liestein stop lies in the middle in the forest and serves exclusively trip traffic. After 6. 6 kilometers, the Braingarten West Station is reached. This was originally the terminus of the old standard gauge branch railway whose route has been followed since Wollen, and thus far the line is rather flat. Has gentle turning radii and resembles a normal SBB standard gauge line. After Braingarten West, the line changes its character completely, adopting the sharper curves and steeper gradients of a narrow gauge line. After negotiating two sharp curves out of Braingarten West Station, the line runs along the 156-meter-long bridge over the Rus. The company's headquarters, including a depot and administration building, are located at Braingarten Station at an altitude of 389 meters. From here on the line runs alongside the main road through a more densely populated, although still rural, area. A series of exceptionally tight U-shaped curves takes the line uphill, at slopes of up to 5. 6% to be Rickon Wyden Station on the Mutchellen Pass at an altitude of 553 meters. From here the line drops through equally tortuous curves to Rudolf Stetten Hofacker, where the downward gradient becomes gradually flatter. From Bergfrieden Station the line has tramway-like characteristics with street running. The line ends at Dietikon Station at a platform beside the SBB tracks and at an altitude of 391 meters. An aim 4 8 unit at the Hainruti halt on the climb to the Mutchellen Pass. Note the continuation of the track alongside the road to the middle left. The line is 18. 8 kilometers long, of which one? 6 kilometers is double track and the rest single track. It has a minimum curve radius of 25 meters and a maximum gradient of 5. 6 percent. A section of 0. 8 kilometers length in Diatikon runs in the street, sharing its road space with other traffic. The line is equipped with meter gauge track throughout and is electrified at 1200 BDC, using an overhead line. The passenger services on the line now forms part of the Zurich S-Bahn, branded as the S-17. A service of two trains per hour is provided every day between Wollen and Diatikon. Except on Sundays and public holidays, an extra two trains per hour are provided between Braingarten West and Diatikon. Apart from a small number of additional peak hour express trains, all trains serve all stops, taking just over 30 minutes for the full length of the line. The line uses the following rolling stock, there is a project for a light rail system in the densely populated Limital area, west of Zurich, which would connect to the Braingarten Diatikon and Diatikon. To the west of Diatikon the line would link to Spratenmach and Kilwangen, whilst to the east it would run through Erdorf and Schlieren to Zurich Altstetten railway station. With connection to the Zurich tram route 2 at the Farbhof terminus. A referendum, held in November 2015, approved the construction of the line, and it was announced in May 2016 that the line would be operated by BDWM. Construction is scheduled to start in late 2017, with a planned opening in 2022. When completed, it is planned that the Limital Light Rail Line would share tracks with the Braingarten Diatikon Line, from the latter's terminus at Diatikon Station to the intersection of Braingartnerstrasse and Zentralstrasse. The common section of on-street track, which is currently single track, will be doubled. Thanks for watching.